Time to trade in that potato? Don't stress. It's like Windows 11 was made for gamers. Okay, CPUs and GPUs. Let's dig in. CPU means Central Processing Unit. GPU means Graphics Processing Unit. Still with me? Most games are going to ask a lot of both, so don't sacrifice one for the other. You want a good balance of CPU and GPU performance, especially if you're a streamer or maker. Some laptops have what's called an integrated GPU. That means the GPU is built onto the processor. That's nice for portability, but not what you want for gaming. You want your gaming rig to have a dedicated GPU or video card. And let me tell you about ray tracing too. Basically, it makes the lights in your game act like real life lights. Before and after. Nice. Switching gears, let's talk about RAM for a sec. RAM means random access memory. It's like your machine's short-term memory banks. The more it's got, the more it can keep track of at the same time. Going cheap on RAM can really slow you down, especially if you're running a bunch of things at once, like that new game, and a streaming app, and your music, and you get the idea. Now, what about long-term storage, you may ask? These days, it is all about SSDs, solid state drives. They're way faster than the old hard disk drives. And there's no moving parts, so they last longer and can handle the occasional bump. SSDs are more expensive, but your games will load way faster. Trust me. Okay, here's an easy trick in Windows 11 to see how your system is running. Hit Windows G to bring up the Xbox game bar. Now you can customize the apps you want to see, but I always have my performance app right over here. I can see my CPU, GPU, video RAM, RAM, even frames per second, all in real time. It's a good place to start if your machine is feeling a little meh. And I can click on any of them to see how they're tracking over time. Not bad. Well, that's all I got today. See ya!